I'm Dean Murphy, I'm 23, and I'm from the Boston area, and I live in Hartford, Connecticut. I discovered that I loved singing probably when I was in high school doing musicals. We did um, like Footloose and Beauty and the Beast and Guys and Dolls, and um, it just it's really nice to like tell people a story, bring them some joy, you know, make them feel something and forget about everything else going on in our busy lives. I started singing opera um, my junior year of high school. Well, not opera necessarily, but art song. And um, my senior year, I applied to conservatories and ended up at the Hart School and been singing opera since then. I chose Hart because it has a great program where they only allow um, undergrads to perform in their operas. So got many opportunities to sing some roles with the orchestra in undergrad, and that is invaluable experience. I think something particular that inspired me was seeing a video of Renee Fleming singing in the Richard Tucker Gala when she, I believe it was the one when she was receiving the award, and she was singing the song to the moon from Rusalka, and the end of that, she just like, oh. She really surprises you, and I think that's what you need to do, is surprise the audience, because they don't want to expect you to do something, they want to be surprised. Opera's role in the world today, um, people say that it's dying, but I don't think that that's necessarily true, because you see places like San Diego Opera making a comeback, and um, small regional companies like Connecticut Lyric doing great works and, you know, thriving. Um, so I think that uh, it's, it's doing uh, very well, because it is a very complex art form, and in order to understand what's actually going on, it takes a lot of thought, and of course most opera being in, um, not in English, then, you know, that also makes it a little more difficult to understand. I think the more you do recits in particular, um, you learn a lot about the, the rhythm and the nuance of the language, and um, it certainly helps. My role models? Um, well, for this in particular, I've been listening to Leo Nucci. Uh, but other than that, I think that Joyce Donato is an incredible person and musician, and I think she has the right idea on why we do what we do, and she is moving forward with opera and trying to connect with the audience even more and do great things. Um, as for other baritones, I really enjoy uh, Dmitry Horostovsky and Cheryl Milnes and Bryn Terkel. You should all come see Barbara of Seville because we have a wonderful cast and this music is extremely accessible. Um, if it's your first opera, it's a great first opera to see. We have um, wonderful actors so glad to work with them, and um, I mean, this is like one of the classics, so we'll see you there.
Oh, Harp has like I, great pro. Okay. I chose oh, house okay. <laughs> I'll cut it out. Don't worry. whatnot but um i think it's just it just comes with old age you know when you get to retirements you're like oh well let's go to the opera we have all this time on our hands and so that you, becomes 